What's the meaning of this, Greeley? These Indians have stolen horses belonging to these men. Yo, I have to the American. White man lie. We take gold to El Rio. You claim these horses belong to you? Yes, that buckskin's mine. Can you prove that? Prove it. I don't know my own horse. I raised him. Holds that buckskin. Well, uh, three years old. Any marks of identification on this horse? No, he's clean. These men are under arrest. On what charge? That's the Army's business, really. Sergeant? Yes, sir. Take care of these men. Very well, sir. Put them up, sir. What's up, Red? Cap Alliston and his troops surprised us. Arrested William, Slim, and Anderson. You will have a rope around all our necks first thing you know, Red. How did I know the troops were in the territory? That's your business to find out. Does the sheriff know about it? No, not yet. Then get back to the office and see what you can do. Don't let that old buzzard trip you up. I get you. I see you buy some new ones today. Yes, senor. I had a chance to make a good deal, so I, I picked up this bunch. For chess, since you take charge, you have done wonderful things on the rancho. Maybe someday I will make you my partner instead of foreman. Chess, Don Fernandez. 
It'd be a far greater reward if uh, your daughter Dolores fell towards me like you do. There is an old Spanish saying. Don't dress up too quickly, the beautiful rose. The thorns may stick you. Yes, Captain. Adios. What my deputy tells me, Captain, this calls for a bit of an explanation. It does. It calls for an explanation from your deputy for allowing these men to fire on Indians without provocation. Stealing horses was provocation enough, wasn't it? The Indians tried to steal our horses last week. If we hadn't run them down, they'd have got away with it that time. You said that that buckskin was a three-year-old. The buckskin was a six-year-old and definitely marked. Sheriff, I'm going to turn these men over to you for safekeeping. I believe that they're the men that killed those Indians last week and robbed them of their gold. Try to repeat the same plan today. Really? Captain Allister's kept peace with the Indians for a long time. Now, if you'll use your head and run them down those murderer night riders, instead of sticking your nose in the army's business, well, we'd all be better off. Now lock them up. I'm holding you responsible. Corporal? Go with him. Bad business. It is that. And though it makes me hot under the collar to admit it, I must say the Army's right. This time. Well, and you admit that the cavalry is a great organization, huh? Well, why shouldn't it be? Look at all the fine Irish lads you have in. I tell you, John, <clears throat> the greatest soldiers that ever lived was Irish. Look at General Sherman, Major O'Rourke, Captain Finnegan. Ah, there's thousands of them. Oh, how about... How about General von Steuben? How about Captain Krause? Oh. Wait a minute. How about General von Mulkey? I looked them all up and their mothers was Irish. Say, Bill, you know this little bit of Irish in me, too? Is that so, John? Well, now, I honest wondered why I liked you so well. <laughs> Say, how would the sheriff of this great and glorious county like to ride over and have a look at a couple of good saddle horses? Well, owing to the fact that the army don't know anything about horses, I guess I better go along to see that you don't get cheated. You're going to buy them, John. Over to Don Fernandez. Oh, oh, and will the Don's beautiful daughter, Dolores, be there? Say, Bill, she is the most beautiful woman. Sheriff, this is army business. <laughs> Not running back. Well, that horse weigh, Bill? Well, I'd say about 1050. I'll bet you a cigar he'll go near 1100. A box of cigars, he'll go 1050. What's he weigh, Sergeant? He'll weigh about 1100, sir. You know what he weighs? He weighs exactly 1110. Make yourself a good five cents a gallon, Captain. Now, here's a good horse, Captain, but uh, a little green. I guess that one's a bit too tough for the Army. Now then, here's where all the Army's business stops. Sergeant. Yes, sir. You better cull those horses over before I look at any more of them. Very well, sir. Buenas tardes, Capitan. ¿Cómo estado? Oh, I'm fine. And as usual, you look very beautiful. Oh, Capitan, you never forget the pretty words. 
My father tell me I found you here, so I come to make sure you will not forget my fiesta. Forget your fiesta? Well, senorita, I haven't heard anything else. Pero de veras va a venir, eh? No me vaya a dejar esperando. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> oh, you also be there, senor sheriff, at my fiesta? I will. As much as I dislike to associate with the army, <laughs> even on social occasions. <laughs> I hope you down, senorita. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Ahora me siento generada. <laughs> Did you enjoy your ride, Senorita? Oh, I didn't take my ride yet. I come to make sure you will not buy all my papa's good horses. <laughs> and then I will go for my ride. I'm not in favor of you riding alone, Mr. Lores. You know, these Indians are not to be trusted. Oh. It isn't the Indians alone that Mr. Lores should be afraid of. Well, with all of us good-looking men here, I don't think you'll be wanted for company. Oh, I will be not afraid, because the Capitan, he will ride with me, no? No, not no. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't answering my question, Red. What I want to know is, where were you when this happened? I was at home in bed. Find place for you. Didn't I tell you I'd hold you responsible for them prisoners? <clears throat> Here comes the old war horse. Now we'll do some explaining. Now I know what you're going to say before you start. Bill, the escape of these prisoners has laid me open to severe criticism from headquarters. Why don't you take care of your own prisoners, Captain? I'll do that the next time, Greeley. Bill, the killing of these Indians and robbing them is going to lead to another Indian uprising. I don't want to have to face that again. What, what can you expect, John? When them Indians move their gold any time they feel like it. Yes, I, I guess you're right, Bill. I wonder if we had those Indians move their gold under the cover of darkness. That's a good idea, Captain. Funny we didn't think of that before. Maybe that'll put a stop to it. But this is what I come in to tell you, Bill. But the raids of these night riders, the attacking of ranches, raiding of stagecoaches, and the stealing of cattle has led me to issue a drastic order. From now on, this town is under martial law. Well, you heard that, didn't you? Complete subordination of my office with the army. I tell you, the sheriff of this county don't mean any more than a scarecrow in a potato patch. Although you have my permission, I must tell you, Captain, this unusual procedure is dangerous. I'm warning you to be careful. That's part of the army, sir. Good night, sir. Good night, Captain. Stay close to the creek.
Hey, Chiquita. I'm thinking of making a little trip to Mexico City. How would you like to go along? Mexico? Cuesta mucho dinero. Don't you worry about that. I've got plenty of money. Where's Greeley? He's in the back room. <laughs> Leave us alone for a minute, Chiquita. Really? Those men that escaped attacked the Indians again tonight. Only three of us were present when Captain Allister spoke of the Indians moving their gold at night. What have you to say to that, Red? You and no other man can accuse me of giving away any secrets of your office. Then how did it get out? How do I know? What I do know is that every time anything happens in your office, I get blamed for it. I'm getting sick and tired of it. I'm resigning. It's too late. You're fired. Really? I'll probably send to you for further questioning. Dame otra roja. Oh, it will look beautiful when you have finished, Dolores. I think, Papa, this will be my most happy birthday fiesta. I'm happy, too. I will be more so if you would not be so cold to Senor Borges. He who has made this happiness possible. When Senor Portis came to the rancho, he became my friend. We were to lose the rancho, Kirita. He put cattle back on the rancho. My debts are paid. And still, you are cold to him. But I like Senor Borges, Papa. And for your sake, I will try to like him more. Then we will speak no more of it. Está bien, querida. Can I be of any help? Oh, señor, sí, of course. I think I will stop now, papacito, because I am very tired. Sí, querida. Anta, chita, anta. Llévate eso pronto. You have some wine, senor? No, thank you. You excuse me, I have something to attend. Uh, sit down, sit down. I shot a buck up in the hills and I, I caught a little pawn for you. Oh, it's too bad you have to kill the great, big, beautiful one to give me the little one. Well, I thought it'd make a nice present for you. Gracias, señor. Dolores, for a long time I've been trying to tell you something. I can't seem to find the pretty words. Why don't you wait till after the fiesta, and then maybe you can find them. Oh, but Dolores, I... Pero, señor, usted no comprende lo que yo quiero decir. But Dolores, I'm serious. Pero, señor, I'm afraid I am too tired to appreciate pretty words. Perdón, señorita. Capitán Alistair, to see you. Oh, el capitán, dime que pase. Muy bien, señorita. Muy bien, señorita. Lo diré. Good afternoon, capitán. I'm so glad you have come. Pronto una silla para el capitán. Hello, Burgess. Hello, captain. I suppose this is your work, senorita. Do you like it, Capitan? Wonderful. If I'd known you'd been working so hard, I wouldn't have come. You must be tired. Oh, no. I'm not tired at all. I'm yes, very contenta. Pedro? Bring us some vino, Pedro. Muy bien, senorita. 
I came to ask a favor of you. I want to bring a very, very dear friend of mine to your fiesta. Why, of course, Capitan. Your friends are always welcome to El Rancho de las Flores. Well, then I have a surprise for you. Remember me telling you about my brother, Lieutenant Allister? You remember? Seguramente que me acuerdo. You speak so much of your brother that I think I know him already. You mean he will be here for the fiesta? Well, if the stage isn't late, you ought to arrive on time. Oh, he will be most welcome, Capitan. Pero, déjese ahí. Go and tell Papa the Capitan is here. Muy bien, señorita. Then your brother is going to be stationed here, Captain? Oh, yeah, yes. Uh, I think in this country you ought to do him a lot of good. Quiere un poquito, Capitan? Uh, yes, I'll have one. <laughs> Stagecoach is carrying a much larger payroll than I expected. By the way, Lieutenant Allister, the captain's brother, is on that coach. Good night, boys. What time is it, Anderson? Seven o'clock, sir. Horse ready? Yes, sir. What a fine bit of a calling that is. Can you dance the Irish cheese? No, <laughs> I bet you've got a sweetheart, haven't you? I know who yours is. Huh? I know who yours is. Who? Dolores. <laughs> Ahora tomaremos a la salud del viajero. Now we drink to the safe arrival of Lieutenant Wilbur. Your brother, he has nice looks like you, Capitan. No? No, not no. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. 
you ask Dolores to dance with you. Then I start the music. <laughs> Can I have the next dance, Dolores? Oh, I am so sorry. But you see, the Capitan five times he complained I do not dance with him. So I come in his fault. You will forgive me. Will that you see? Yes. Yes, of course. <laughs> Say, I can't dance. <laughs> You boys go with Chuck. You get the driver when the stage hits the quick bottom. Then draw off the escort. Lieutenant of the post. Ride ahead and notify the surgeon. So, Capitan, why transport him first? Why not bring him here? Thank you. Bring the lieutenant in. Very well, sir. Take him upstairs. Wait. Bring him to my room, senor.
Kamor Kopi Kapitan. Lieutenant Alistair is out of danger, Captain, and resting easy. I'm sure he'll be up to snuff and ready to report for duty in, oh, say, three or four weeks. Oh, thank you. I'm very, very grateful to you, sir. That's all right, Captain. Hmm. I'd suggest that you get some rest. Your brother can stay right here. And I might add, he'll be in the finest of care. Gracias, senor. Adios. Bye, senorita. Bye, senor. No hay de qué, señor capitán. You see, Chiquita? It's just like these dressed-up army birds say. When our opposing forces gets too strong, retreat. Of course, Burgess don't know nothing about the army. Tu hablas mucho y nunca llegas al fin. However, <laughs> our opposing forces in this particular <laughs> instance is first, the captain makes mm -hmm. them out. Then the good-looking young lieutenant. Oh. Comes in and gets the girl. Ah, you know what I do? You know what I do if some hombre tried to take a girl away from me? Just what would you do, Red? What would I do? I'd eliminate him sudden like. That's just what a small brain like yours would think of. That's why you're not working over in the sheriff's office. When I need you there. Would you ride over and tell Pete to meet me tonight? Oh, not yet. I'm leaving in about an hour. You're leaving right now. And if you don't stop this drinking, I'll find a way to stop it. Get out. Well, Chiquita, looks like business before pleasure. Adios. Adiós, Tenorio. Delorio. How can I tell you in Spanish that I love you? You want to tell you in Spanish? Yes. Te amo mucho, mi vida. <laughs> I can't say that. Yeah, yeah, you can say it. <laughs> Come on, try with me. Yo. Yo. Te amo. Te amo. Mucho. Mucho. Mi vida. Mi. <laughs> <laughs> I can't Come say that. Come on, try. <laughs> mi vida. Mi vida. Mi vida. You see? <laughs> Now you say it right. <laughs> Mi vida. Mi vida. <laughs> oh, hello, stranger. Hello, John. Hello, boy. How are you feeling? Fine. You just come in time for lunch, Capitan. Will you stay and eat with us? Thank you. Now, you boys, sit here and wait for me. Con permiso. Lovable and sweet, isn't she, boy? Yes, John. The most charming girl I've ever known. Are you sure you're serious this time, Wilbur? Why, of course. Why do you ask? Oh, I was... I was just thinking about those other affairs in the East. I don't know what you mean. Oh, yes, you do, boy. 
I mean those affairs of 40th and Allen. After you had left the point with an excellent record behind you. I mean the gambling and the drinking that you did. Well, this is different, John. That's past. I never dreamed that I'd meet a girl as sweet as Devorah's. Ever accept and return my love? So Dolores has made you happy, eh? Yes. Very happy. Well, then promise me that you're worthy of this happiness. I will. Now, if you boys will be so kind as to eat my lunch and say it is very good because I got it ready myself. What's up? Lieutenant Alistair, go to the canteen and fighting drunk. You wait here. to the uniform. Well, oh, now, don't get excited. I only had a couple of drinks. I'll get a little sleep and I'll be all right. Bill? I don't know. I found him at the cantina drinking, gambling, and looking for trouble. Say, see if you can sober him up and uh, get him to the post before sunrise, will you, Bill? That's all right, John. I'll take care of him. any more liquor to my troops, I'll close your place. But, Captain, I can't keep your men from coming in here. You heard more of this. What he means, Slade, is he don't want you to serve any more liquor to his baby brother. Get up, 
invited me over for dinner. Be home early? Yes, I think so. Good night, John. Good night, Wilbur. Major lost the bet. And in consequence, before the entire battalion, he had to shoot the second lieutenant 30 times. <laughs> <laughs> I know something much more, more disturbing than the Major's predicament. And what is that, Lieutenant? Well, tomorrow morning, I go off sick list. I report for active duty. And not alone will miss this wonderful wine and such dinners. But I'll not have the pleasure of your very charming company as often, Dolores. Y yo lo siento tanto. Then we'll drink to your active duty, Lieutenant. Thank you. Por la felicidad de usted, Lieutenant. Thank you, Senorita. I drop in for a game of cribbage. Well, I didn't expect it. Well, John, you know you beat me five games last week, and I'm here to get even with the Army. This old wine is stronger than you imagine. You'll realize it when you get out in the air. Oh, and uh, by the way, Lieutenant, I would suggest that you return to the post. <laughs> the night is very young, Mr. Burgess. I promise to ride over early in the morning to see some friends. Then I am so tired. If you don't mind, Lieutenant. Well, I'm very sorry, Senorita. I am sorry, Senorita, for staying so late. But these few hours have been just like minutes. And may I thank you for your hospitality, Senor? No, I think, Senor Lieutenant. Then good night, Senor. Why does not, Senor? I'll ride thank over you. to the post with you, Lieutenant. Fine, come along. Good night again, Dolores. When I'm not here. When it's noches. When it's noches, then. When it's noches. I'm afraid you had too much wine at the dinner, Papa. Oh, I don't think so. Come in. Lady to see you, sir. Lady? Sure. Isn't it? Dolores. Your brother. Is he here, Capitan? Why, no, he was at your house, wasn't he? Yes, but he left for the post. Sergeant. Yes, sir. Is Lieutenant Alistair in his quarters? No, sir. I'm afraid we made a mistake, Capitan. He had too much wine at the dinner, so I come to ask you to forgive us. Which well, isn't your fault, Dolores. I wouldn't worry about it. Go 
shortly. <laughs> Come on, let's drink to that good stuff. Oh, no, Chiquita. Oh. I've had enough. I'm going home now. Oh, come on, drink. <laughs> All right, I'll drink to that funny story. <laughs> uh, senor, uh, how much you pay for this? Two hundred pesos. You sure you know what you do? Sure. All you have to do is go in there and pick a fight with them, like I told you. Bueno. Ah, do you drink it, Chiquita? Oh, that was funny, Chiquita. Yo te puedo contar muchas mejores que... Ah, Chiquita. You're very funny, Chiquita. <laughs> And Manuel, go in through the side door. Está bueno. the lieutenant, Sergeant? The lieutenant's in the canteen at El Torre, sir. this lieutenant? Well, sir, that's my life, and I fire to protect myself. Milte, Milte, he lied. I was all alone with my Manuel, and he, this drunken soldier, came and shoot him. Lieutenant Allison, you're under arrest. Sergeant? Yes, sir. Have the sergeant brought here immediately. Private Hard. White Feather, what you have just told me may save my brother's life. You must be at the trial tomorrow. Many moons, White Feather know what to do for his people. Indians, no forget.
You have just heard this man Slade testify that Burgess accompanied Lieutenant Alistair to your canteen on two occasions. Just when were those? I don't know what you're talking about. Now you answer this question. When and under what circumstances did you first meet Lieutenant Alistair? First time I see him, he come into the room and shoot. You're sure of that? Now, Chiquita, before you were brought into this court this morning, the blackjack dealer at Slade's place testified and swore that you were at the table, at his table, with Le Lieutenant Alistair the night of the murder, and that you left the table with him. Now, when you left that gambling table, just where did you and Lieutenant Alistair go? Never mind. What are your duties at Mr. Slade's place? Un amiga. I come sometimes. Just a friend. <laughs> to have a little fun. <laughs> Isn't it a fact that you're paid by Slade to entertain the patrons of his place? Yes. Chiquita, I've heard a lot of stories about you. But personally, I don't believe you're as bad as they say you are. Men come into that place and make love to you and promise you things and then go away and laugh at you the same as some of those men did out there just now. Chiquita, you've sworn to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth before your God. When did you first meet Lieutenant Alistair? Answer me. I meet him at the table. I took him to the wine room. And he drank. How long were you in that wine room with Lieutenant Alistair? Oh, it was a while. In what condition was the lieutenant? He was drunk. Very drunk. Isn't it a fact, Chiquita? That some man paid you a large amount of money to take Lieutenant Alistair into that wine room? Don't you know that every time you touch a dollar of that money, Manuel's face appear before your eyes and haunt you? Now, Chiquita, you have sworn to tell the truth. I can promise you the immunity of this court. You did this to me. Who, Chiquita? Mr. Burgess, Mr. Bill, gave me money and told me to take the soldier and get him drunk. Then Manuel came and started party. And what happened? I don't know. Somebody shoot through the window. Who shot through the window? I don't know. Are you sure? No. Who shot through the window, Chiquita? I don't know, senor. That's all, Your Honor. Now, if Your Honor, please, you, the surgeon of the fort testify that he examined manual immediately after the act, and found this bullet. I call your attention, Your Honor, to the fact that this bullet does not fit the lieutenant's gun or any equipment at the post. In fact, it does not fit any army equipment. I'm offering that as evidence.
Admit it. Raise your right hand. Do you hear by some of words on the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help me God? Your name. White feather. White feather? I'm handing you two bullets. Where did you find them? They find them in dead Indian brother. That's all. Sheriff Ryan. Raise your right hand. You hereby tell him swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth will help you, God? I do. State your full name. William Patrick Francis Ryan. Mr. Ryan, you're sheriff of this county? I am, sir. I'm adding your bullet, Sheriff Ryan. Do you know anyone who need a gun? That that bullet would fit? I do. Who? That's the new Colts 41. The only person here that owns one is... My ex-deputy, Red Greeley. Your Honor, I hereby charge Red Greeley with the murder of Manuel and Lee Burgess as his accomplice. Peace, Put him out! Put him out! Get him out! Get him out! Get him out! Get him out! By the right and left flank.
Reggie and Bill. How many men do we lose? Four, sir. Right, mount up. Yeah, no, please. 